And now at 9, a tense standoff in an East Bay neighborhood. It ended with police shooting and killing a man. What police and witnesses say happened right before the shots were fired. Thank you for joining us on Cron 4 News at 9. I'm Katherine Heenan. And I'm Ken Wayne. The shooting happened in the area of Owens Drive and Willow Row. That's near a Home Depot in Pleasanton. And that's where we find Cron 4's Taylor Brzezaki. She joins us live with the very latest. Taylor. Ken, as you can imagine, it's been a very scary and intense day for the folks who live out here in these apartments. You know, many of them watched this whole scene unfold from when police first arrived to when that suspect was shot and killed. Actually, you're looking at the area where he later encountered police and was shot. The coroner's van is actually on its way now, leaving the scene, which means they had probably taken that body away. Intense moments as Pleasanton police break the windows to one of the apartments at Willow Road in Owens Drive. Police say they received a call from a domestic violence victim around 11.50 Thursday morning, and when they arrived here, the male suspect would not come out of the building. They were uh, just talking on the loudspeaker, saying, you know, telling them to come out, come out, um, and he just wasn't at all. And then uh, I went back inside, uh, and then when I came back out here, that's when uh, the action started. Witness Austin Faust stays here at the Galloway Apartments and watch this all unfold. And that's when they started to break the window down and throw a flashbang, and that's when he came out, and that's when they shot at him. We slowed down this witness video where you can see the suspect in the white T-shirt coming out of the apartment. Police say he had a knife in his hand, and that's when officers began shooting. Two officers were involved in that OIS and are uninjured. We can confirm the suspect is deceased. Now, police have not identified the suspect or those officers involved. However, they are still here on scene, remaining to continue this investigation. We also have the Alameda County District Attorney's Office out here conducting their own independent investigation. Back to you.